All right, so I have six unsolved mysteries in Modern Warfare 2. Let's get to the video. As you guys Go. know, on the channel, we like to dig into the story of Call of Duty. That's what Shout we did yesterday. Ink we had a video up on it. But when I was making For that the video, video, I kind of realized that throughout the Modern Warfare 2 story, there's essentially a bunch of unanswered questions, unsolved mysteries that they left us the with at the end of the campaign. And even going into the raids and them adding a story, there's a lot of questions that we don't have answers to. So what I thought True. I would do is take all of those things, put them into one video, and then you guys can let me know down in the comments what your theories are on them. And I can kind of give you a general idea of where those storylines are going moving forward. They range hey, I love videos like this. Alex to Hadir, like we talked about yesterday, but I'm going to incorporate them all into You guys know Modern Warfare 3 is coming out in November. Some ideas as to what you think, and maybe we can cover some of these things alone in separate videos moving on in the future. But essentially, right. these are six unsolved mysteries within Modern Warfare 2. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And let's start and this is the Modern Warfare. I, I think this is the Modern Warfare 2 in, uh, in 2022, right? Yeah. Alejandro Vargas was introduced in Modern Warfare 2 as one of the newest characters and quickly became a fan favorite. True. But after this, inside the campaign, we found out a little bit more about his backstory that was kind of left a little bit open-ended. Oh my god, bro. That was so loud. Have a seat. All right, how do you two know each other? No, it's a strong word. Las palabras fuertes son importantes. Nuestra palabra es nuestro valor. Valerius, my girl. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that is, that is crazy. How do they know each other? I don't take orders anymore. Even the dogs in Las Almas know not to bark at me. She's ex-military. We serve together. Oh. Different squads. Same unit. You were the wild ones. Mm. Los vaqueros. My squad was clean cut, senoras y senores. Until the raid on the Son of Araña. ¿Te acuerdas? Me acuerdo perfecto. Her team was told to cordon off the city to keep all Araña's enforcers and prevent the bloodshed. That's exactly what we did. Well, you kept out his enforcers because you were his enforcers, huh? He was escorted to the mountains without incident. Also to prevent bloodshed. He Tough. was supposed to go to prison. So you kill him. And you took over. I created a power vacuum and I filled it. In this cutscene, we find out about Vargas's military past working alongside yeah, uh -oh. Valeria. But uh -oh. what doesn't make any sense is even though he knew her and went on the mission where they took out the old El Sanambre for the Los Almos cartel, somehow Vargas still didn't know that Valeria had <laughs> taken over. And we don't know the backstory between Vargas and Valeria. Hey, she clearly probably double crossed well, them. Work together, were in different units. She's a clearly demon. there is a past there that we don't know about. This is something that I'd be willing to bet that when they put the spin off campaigns like the rumored ghost ones, this is probably something we will get filled on a little bit more digging into vargas's past as i mentioned before he quickly became a fan favorite character within modern warfare 2 but this is more so of a question of vargas's past knowing how his relationship with valeria his old military service but a lot of the other things dated. we're going to look at are actually the future of characters Where's Alex? I mean, well, we saw him. He, he was alive in like in one the trailer, people right? Kept asking is where is Alex? A mainstay within Modern Warfare. He survived, right? And a character who was developed deeply in that game was just simply not there. As we found out within the first raid, Alex was making a return, but seemingly has once again disappeared. Being sent into the Satik Mountains by Kate Laswell, we knew he was going into the bunker. But as we find out at the end of the raid, he was never taken out. Eyes front. Show your hands! Door! Door! They're all dead. Easy, they could be rigged. No wires. These two are clear. We'll clear here. <clears throat> These are Pop. the soldiers. This is RFE volunteer to go in with Alex. I don't know that was Alex. Uh-oh. Echo 3-1, this is Kilo Actual. How Bro got captured. Echo 3-1, do you read? Watcher, this is Bravo in a blind radio check. That's where you getting this. Kate. So at the end of the raid, we find a bunch of dead... Uh oh the Wi-Fi is cut off. ...forces. However, 
Alex was not found amongst them, even though he was sent into the bunker with them. Now, as we discussed yesterday in Hadir's video, we found a piece of intel that states that some of the Alcatala soldiers captured someone and brought them to an embassy, which could be the I answer to you. where Alex I told is. you, bro, got However, captured. they could be talking about someone else altogether. All in all, we don't know where Alex is. It's seemingly going to be one of the things in the overarching story of the raids moving forward, but it lends to the question, where is Alex? I don't think he's dead. Ghost is origin, okay. Now this is an interesting one because we know who Ghost is. We know he is Simon Riley, but we don't know the direction that they are going with his story. Now the current rumor is, is that they are working on a Ghost origin story campaign where we're gonna see kind of how Ghost or Simon Riley came to be ghost and in modern warfare 2's campaign we briefly see him remove his mask but we don't get to see his face if we go back to the original modern warfare trilogy we know that ghost became ghost not by choice he was kind of forced into the life when he had to fake his death therefore becoming a ghost we find that out through the comics now whether the origin story campaign Wait, that really may be coming out next year follows that story we don't know only time will tell and until then it'll be a mystery i didn't know that i'll be real Hey, Shepard's a demon. Shepard's a menace, bro. Officials are saying a power surge is to blame he left, for an bro. explosion he's over a general. downtown Chicago last night. No, he's not a general. He's a um... Yeah, he is a general, right? General Shepard. He's a he's a general, right? Then he just did. CIA shit. Creative writing. I'll never tell. AQ. Iran. Cartels. Russians. Shepard. Shadow. They got past us. Well, that head stop. It's cutting the heads off snakes. I wonder if Shepard's gonna be in Modern Warfare 3. I don't think so. I think Modern Warfare 3 is just gonna be about Makarov. Makarov is the diabolical demon. Totally off the grid. No, we'll find him. No, we've got bigger fish. Now, this is one that I am questioning yeah, you very do strongly. Bigger At yeah, the you end do. of the campaign, General Shepard just kind of disappears into the wind with no explanation as to where he went, where he is hiding, or who he is dealing with anymore. This kind of lends to the same question with Shadow Company. All we really heard about Shadow Company is at the end, they leave the Los Vaqueros compound and are never heard from again. Of course, they are still a thing. And basically, at the end of the game, all we did is take out Commander Graves. Or did we? Graves is not dead, bro. He's not dead. This does not prove that he's dead. You did it so. You and me, hermano. Brother, I tell you guys all the time if you did not see the yeah, character die in the game or movie, that so character is not dead. And we're ready. Graves is KIA. How's Price? Angry. Lost a good cigar in the crash. Now, this is a video that I plan to make in and of itself, answering this question exactly. But I have a general rule, and we've talked about this on the channel many times, when a character in Call of Duty dies and you don't see them die on screen, they are probably not I told y'all. I told y'all. This is a super strange scene within Modern Warfare 2 where Graves is apparently in a tank. He is shooting at you. You are shooting at him. You hear him over the radio, and then boom, you blow up the tank. Never check for a body. Never see him dead. But we just assume that Graves was in there. Why? Well, because he said so. Which lends to the question is, is Commander Philip Graves actually dead? He's not dead, bro. Uh oh. The demon. The diabolical Ultra demon. Ultra nationalists ambushed that convoy, John. Okay, this is over. No. My thing is, how it's do not. they know? How do they. They're working with someone new. What does Price mean he's not new? Mm. Is, is this canon? So, wait, was Who the last. He? Makarov. Because obviously, like, I don't think this is canon, right? The end of Modern Warfare 2 confirmed the return of Vladimir Makarov as well as the Ultra Nationalists. Now, at this point, we don't know when they will be returning or in what capacity. 
in the post credit scene, we do see some sort of airplane attack once again happening. I mean, we know now Vladimir that Makarov is the like the villain now. However, in the raid, we are seemingly dealing with Alcatala. So will Alcatala be working with the ultranationalists? Will they be fighting against each other? Will Shadow Company be somehow involved? And to what capacity... Hey, the way he made this Makarov gun out of like stuff off his clothes and stuff was All ridiculous. Of those questions we do not yet have the answer to, but I'm assuming at some point throughout the next two years, we're going to get some of those answers. So those are the kind of six unanswered mysteries currently within oh, Modern Warfare 2. I'm sure I missed some. In a Shout out to Ink Sla Slasher. I almost, says, I almost said Ink Slayer. Shout out to Ink Slasher for the video, man. He always makes these really cool videos, man. Shout out to him. If you guys haven't subscribed to his channel, go support his channel, man. He makes these banger videos. Other than that, obviously, this video was like seven months ago. Now, we kind of know what's going on now. Makarov is the main villain um of, of this game like i say he's going to be a diabolical demon uh he's going to be a nuisance he's gonna you know this whole little no russian thing on the phone yeah bro he's a demon other than that man comment down below what do you guys think about the video see you guys later for the next one i'm out and